Welcome to Easy Anatomy. I am um, I'm going to give you a general outline for about the, the anterior triangle. Anterior triangle. If we wanted to describe the boundaries of the anterior triangle, so it's going to be from above is going to be mandible, anterior midline of the neck. Okay. Then this is mastoid process. You will see this muscle, which is a sternocleidomastoid muscle, attached to the outer surface of the mastoid process, and it has two origin. One origin from the sternum, okay, and one origin from the clavicle. Sternum clavicle mastoid process sternocleidomastoid muscle midline of the neck mandible this is the mandible there is a muscle here if you remember which also take origin from the mastoid process this is the posterior pillar of the gastric and here is this below the mandible this bone the midline is what is hyoid bone this is hyoid bone posterior pillow of digastric and the anterior pillow of digastric they meet each other in the intermediate tendon which attach it to the hyoid bone this is the anterior pillow of digastric anterior belly of digastric posterior belly of digastric okay from the other side you have also anterior belly of digastric then if you remember we have a muscle located here coming from the upper border of the scapula this muscle is the inferior pillow of omohyoid and this is the superior pillow of omohyoid inferior and superior pillow of omohyoid so this muscle is omohyoid muscle now if you look at the anterior triangle which is bounded by mandible sternocleidomastoid midline of the neck you will see that it is divided into three and a half triangle or let us say four triangle this triangle is muscular triangle and we call it muscular because it contain infrahyoid muscles this one is called carotid triangle because it contain carotid arteries this one is called submandibular triangle because it contains submandibular lymph nodes and this is called submental because it contains also submental plexus of veins and also it is below the symphysis menti of the mandible so those are the four triangle or subdivisions of the anterior triangle muscular, carotid, submandibular and submental the major contents of each of them as here infrahyoid muscles and we have infrahyoid muscle there is muscle extend from the sternum to the hyoid bone this muscle is called the sternohyoid sternohyoid muscle so you have two superficial muscles sternohyoid and omohyoid then if you cut sternohyoid on the other side this is the thyroid cartilage this one here thyroid cartilage You will see that we have a muscle extend from sternum to the oblique line lateral side of the thyroid cartilage is called this is the oblique line of thyroid cartilage this muscle is called the sternothyroid then another muscle extend from this oblique line to the hyoid bone is called the thyroid 
hyoid muscle and this muscle covering thyroid gland they cover thyroid gland under this muscle so basically you have four infrahyoid muscle omohyoid and sternohyoid superficial then sternothyroid and thyrohyoid deep those muscle move hyoid bone down during swallowing okay they move hyoid bone down during swallowing and if you look here sternothyroid and thyrohyoid they can move thyroid cartilage which is larynx part of larynx during swallowing also thyroid elevated and sternothyroid depressed carotid triangle contain carotid cheese which plus external carotid artery and its branches some of its branches submandibular triangle we covered it before contain submandibular uh, gland submandibular lymph nodes lingual nerve hypoglossal nerve okay those are the most important things located here okay now just a quick review the anterior triangle you need to know boundaries midline sternocleidomastoid mandible subdivided into four triangle muscular carotid submandibular submental roof of the triangle skin superficial fascia platysma and inside you will see there is some veins and the nerves so in the roof look for anterior jugular vein transverse cervical nerve which is a cutaneous nerve supplying the skin over the anterior triangle contents of the anterior triangle as we mentioned we have infrahyoid muscles and inside the under cover of the infrahyoid muscle you have larynx you have also part of the pharynx above it you have uh, trachea esophagus most posterior and thyroid gland so basically neck viscera so the muscular triangle has infrared muscles which cover the viscera of the neck which including trachea esophagus thyroid gland and also pharynx larynx carotid triangle contain carotid sheath which contain inside that internal jugular vein, internal carotid artery, common carotid artery. Then outside the sheath, the sheath, the sheath, you have external carotid artery and some of its branches. Also, you have deep cervical lymph nodes. Submandibular triangle, you have submandibular gland, lymph nodes, lingual nerve, submandibular ganglion, hypoglossal nerve, etc. Okay. So now in the next video we'll cover detail of carotid triangle. Thank you.